am Shivani from Justin and today in this video we learn how to configure Paytm Gateway on Justin dashboard. For this configuration you need Paytm Merchant Key, Paytm ID, Industry Type ID and Client ID. If you already don't have these, please reach out to your Paytm account manager and get these details. For configuring Paytm Gateway, please navigate to PG Control Center under PC Operations in Display Dashboard. After landing on the screen, please click on Paytm Gateway. Once you click on Paytm Gateway, you will get a pop-up wherein you will be asked to select between Live Credentials and Test Credentials. Please select Live Credentials and click on Configure on Live. On selecting Live Credentials, you will be able to test all the payments flow successfully using real payment methods. Now let's begin with Configuration of Gateway. As you can see, the screen is divided into three subsections Add Gateway, Payment Method Configurations, and Summary. Let's begin with Add Gateway. The very first step here is assignment of Gateway Reference ID. Now, Gateway Reference ID is needed only when there is a use case of multiple lines of business. For better understanding, please go through our video on Gateway Reference ID. In this case, I will be proceeding without entering any gateway reference ID. In the next screen, you will be asked to enter all the Paytm related credentials. You should find all these credentials in your Paytm dashboard. If you still need any guidance on accessing these credentials, you can reach out to your Paytm POC. You can also refer to these help boxes below each field, which will guide you to the exact screen in your Paytm dashboard where you can fetch these field details from. So you will need to enter your Paytm Merchant ID, Paytm Merchant Key, Industry Type and Channel ID. Please note that the website field is pre-populated and you are not supposed to edit it. In the Client ID field, please enter the Client ID that you would have received from Paytm. If you have not, you can just enter C11 there. After entering all the details, click on Proceed. You will see a screen that will display all the details that you have entered previously. Kindly review it and then click on Confirm and Save Gateway. You can then click on Proceed. This will take you to the last section of Add Gateway, which is Email Communication to Paytm. This is required to request Paytm to enable certain flags at their end. All the details of the email, including the email body, is pre-populated. However, if you have a dedicated POC at Paytm, please enter their details in CC. After doing that, you can click on Send and proceed to Add Payment Methods. The next sub-tab is Payment Method Configurations. In this section, you are required to enable all the payment methods that are enabled at your Paytm account. Please ensure to enable only those payment methods that are enabled at your Paytm account. Any other payment method, if enabled here, will fail during transactions. If you need the exact list of payment methods that is enabled at your Paytm account, please reach out to your Paytm account manager. Once you have the list of payment methods at your Paytm account, you can enable them here under respective sections. I'll enable a few as an example. After completing the payment method configurations, you can proceed to advanced features if you have requirement for advanced features such as mandates and DOTP. You'll have to enable respective flags here in case you have requirement for such features. Please reach out to your JustPay POC for more details. After enabling those flags here, you can click on Proceed. Once you do that, a pop-up will appear requesting for confirmation on whether to enable this payment gateway or not. Click Yes to enable it. The last sub-tab is the Summary tab, which will have the summary of the details entered by you during configuration. Please review and verify these details under both Gateway Details 
as well as advanced features. Once it's done, click on finish. As you can see, your Paytm PG has been configured successfully and is active. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this clarifies the process of Paytm PG configuration on Jespi dashboard.